Hey YouTube, it's been a little while. Hope everyone's been well. I wanted to put out an update um, about what's been happening with me over the last couple of months, why I've been posting. Um, and also just to let everyone know, I guess to tie some loose ends and uh, let you all know that I won't be doing any more YouTubing for a little while. Um, so yeah, I'll just start with, I've got some notes here. Uh, where have I been? Um, it's been a pretty crappy couple of months, to be honest. Um, just after I posted my last video, I was in Greece at the time and doing a climbing trip and just sort of holiday. Um, but while I was on that trip, I uh, actually found out that my mum was pretty sick. Um, so she'd been having some conditions and medical stuff that I won't go into uh, throughout this year during, during sort of COVID. Not COVID though. Uh, and then I, I quickly found out that it was, it was getting worse. So basically the next couple of weeks were kind of shit as I was trying to get home. Couldn't get home um, due to COVID again and just restrictions and Australia being the island and the, the quarantine friendly place that it is. It's very, very, or at least it was um, two months ago, very, very hard to actually get a flight into Australia. And anyway, uh, as it turns out, I, I didn't get back in time. So my mum passed away. Um, and I've been doing a lot of thinking as a result. So it's all just sort of like, this is coming out a bit jumbled, so pardon me, but. So anyway, coming back into Australia, everybody has to do this sort of two week quarantine. It's in a hotel room. So you're basically just locked up in a box, a sealed box for 14 days, uh, which is not too bad. You still got your computer, still got, you know, you can exercise and stuff, but it's an environment in which you can definitely think about things and reflect. And I was already obviously in a reflective mood thinking about a lot of stuff. Um, but towards the end of that 14 days, I had a waking moment, literally a waking moment where I woke up one morning and I must have been a dream that I'd had. And I realized that, uh, oh, I didn't realize, I was like, why am I doing this? Why am I, why am I posting on YouTube? Why am, I, why, why am I teaching people how to sell on Amazon? And why am I spending so much time talking about, you know, all this stuff that I'm doing? And it was, it was much of wise. Um, and I guess like the, the waking moment was that it's not really a hell yes for me at the moment. That, that was kind of like the summary of, of what it was. And I really am not prepared for this. So I hope this is like making some sense as I'm, as I'm getting it out. Um, but yeah, like I don't want to talk too much about the sort of death aspect, but it's made me realize a lot of things. Uh, money is one thing and, and earning money and, and working towards that sort of purpose of, of financial independence and being in control of your income and whatnot. Uh, it's very important, but money does come and go. It may not grow on trees, but money is readily available. You can make it once you figure out how, but um, time, you, you can't make time back. Time only goes in one direction and once it's gone, it's gone. So that was kind of the waking moment. And I looked back and I was sort of thinking about all of this. Um, thinking about like, why, why am I doing this at the moment? And th this is positive. I'm like kind of tearing up. <laughs> um, I'm not going to cut this by the way. <laughs> Yeah, so I had a journal where I'd written about my original aims with getting on YouTube and doing these videos. Um, and I realized when I had this waking moment, I went back and I read this journal entry, which was from a, was from before when I started. So quite a while ago now. Um, and I realized I'd done everything a long time ago. Everything that I actually was originally intending to do when I, when I started doing this. And uh, this is before I had any training or any sort of like financial involvement, um, you know, on the, on the business side of what's behind this YouTube channel. So I'll tell you my motivations now. My, my original motivations, they were to push through a new fee barrier. So that was to get in front of a camera, be able to get in front of a camera, be able to shed tears in front of a camera is not something that I um, would have ever thought that I'd be able to do. So push through a new fee barrier, done. <laughs> not comfortable all the time, but I can do it. And, and the second one was overcome deep weakness, being camera shy, also done. Uh, see what it's like in terms of the other side, in terms of money making potential. So that was like to build up another income stream. That was to just see what was possible. You know, I'd started the Amazon business that was already growing quickly. 
uh, again, this is back in 2017, and just to see what was possible. Um, done. <laughs> I know it's possible. I know, you know, I haven't taken it that far myself personally, but I know it's possible. Number four was to do, do cool shit and just see what's possible. Definitely done, you know, with a lot of other things in my life. I understand a lot of stuff is possible now. I mean, it's very, it's very empowering. And just very, it's very cool. It's very cool to do cool shit and just try stuff and see what happens. And like, I can't believe that I'm here. You know, it's, I've had this YouTube channel now. It's got like more than a million views, 40,000 of you guys actually watching this. I'm sure not all 40,000 will, but uh, it's just crazy. Like it's, it's cool shit. And I would say done, I've, I've seen what's possible. Number five was to change someone's life. Uh, that's done at this stage, I've, I've done that. You could always do more, but now measuring this, the, the time that it takes to really make ch these changes, it doesn't happen overnight. And in my case, it didn't, it takes years. Um, and I've, I'm thankful that I've been doing this long enough and I've, I know some of those people and I've seen them and I've seen those changes. So uh, that's, it's really cool to have this little thing that I wrote like three years ago, like just change someone's life. It's just like this dot point and I can tick that like, that's really cool to look at. Uh, and then number six was to build another income stream. So that's done as well. And so I guess like I had these goals and I, I sat down to do this. And I think I set myself, uh, it was like a minimum of like six months or 20 videos or something like that, that I was going to do this for. And I was just going to do it and see what would happen. And so I, I did it. I kept going. It was, it's been successful. I've been, um, I've put my heart and soul into this and, and enjoyed most of it. Um, and that led me to realize that I've achieved most, almost not every single business or productivity or like financial related goal since I ever started getting into this whole like self-improvement thing, which is like being conscious about your life and your direction and, you know, having the tool, building the tools and resources for yourself to be able to get to where you want to go. Every goal that I've set, whether it's Amazon, whether it's YouTube, whether it's whatever else, um, since I started doing this, I've hit those goals every single time. And I've just been now moving these goalposts further and further out for the sake of it. Um, so this was that waking moment. I realized that I've been setting these goals further and further out with YouTube, with, uh, with the courses that I do with the training program. Um, for the sake of it, having achieved all of my original aims while leaving other stuff in my life under-actualized. And I guess my mom uh, dying was, it's, it's made me realize that, not realize it like I, I didn't I sort of understand it before, but it's, you, you can't hide you can't hide from things when, um, yeah, when death is involved. So that's it. That's why I'm stopping. Um, cause I want to go and I want to look at those areas of my life. So again, I like got these goals from like four or five years ago or a couple of years ago. And I am very goal oriented. I, mean, I reflect a lot. So <laughs> I know where I'm at with things and I know that I've done the financial side of things and I haven't done a lot of the other things that I wanted to do. Um, I'll, just for myself personally and, and in my own like personal circle as well so those are some things that uh, i'm not happy with with that state of things where it's like your money is just getting bigger and bigger you're sitting on you know piles of cash or whatever else and and like making these changes and like changing people's lives and that's all really good but i think you've got to get your own house in order first before you can really stand behind that, I guess, if you want to stand behind If I'm making any sense right now. Um, so that's it really. I guess the, <laughs> I wanted to say thanks to everyone who's been following me. Um, I'm making this video for the people who have been following. Obviously, if you're if the first video you've watched, then see you later. <laughs> but I know some people have followed me since I started, since my very first video. Um, I know I've, you know, people I, who I know in real life watching these videos. So yeah, I just wanted to put this out and, and say thank you to everyone who has been watching these videos and getting some value out of them. I'm glad that I have maybe helped some people and, you know, if I broaden your perspectives, if I've shown you that something is possible that you didn't know was possible before, if I've helped you to clear up that pathway, what that pathway looks like for you in any way, shape or form. I just want to say thanks for letting me be part of your journey because that's um, that is one. It's like the most satisfying thing you can do. So thank you for being part of it. Uh, I mean, next steps. If you're a student of the FBA Freedom Accelerator, uh, nothing much is changing, but I will provide a separate update inside the student group. So stay tuned for that. 
if you were on the wait list, so I know I had a bunch of people booked for calls with me. Uh, to be clear, I'm not the, the I'm not taking any other students. I that's done. I think with this YouTube thing. So at least right now and for the foreseeable future, that will be closed. So if you're on that wait list, uh, I'll probably send out an email as well. But uh, I'm not taking new students, so you, you can't join. So you know, <laughs> look elsewhere, I guess. Um, and yeah, if you're a subscriber, again, thanks. Thanks again for being part of the journey. By the way, guys, I know it's like, kind of feels weird to like wrap this up, but uh, if you're looking for another channel to follow, if you're looking for, I think, someone who is in, you know, a better position than me, honestly, and who is right now like putting out lots of really great content and, and who is continuing to, to not carry the torch, but like, is basically just delivering a massive amount of value for you if you're wanting to be or you are an existing Amazon seller. I would definitely recommend that you go and subscribe to Adam Heist if you haven't already. Um, I'm gonna put a link down below. So go check out his channel. He's not like me, he's posting very, very regularly. Adam is a fantastic guy, very, very experienced Amazon seller. And so for anyone who's like kind of disappointed that I'm not gonna be putting out content uh, and for anyone, whether or not you're disappointed about that, go check out Adam's channel. Again, the link will be down below. I guess the last thing just to be clear about like the future is like I really, there's so many things that I do like about doing this. Um, <laughs> I was kind of like surprised a lot of times, I've been surprised a lot of times by how much I do enjoy this. It's a love-hate relationship. Sometimes there are a lot of negatives as well, like the algorithm, getting sucked into the al algorithmic side. There are a lot of negatives to w with being a guru and sort of putting yourself out there. Um, I don't want to talk about them. I, I genuinely love a lot, a lot of other things about this. And it's inspiring to be able to help people. I do believe, like, so having an Amazon business has fundamentally reshaped my life for the better. So I truly believe that Amazon is a fantastic tool. Selling on Amazon is a fantastic tool to achieve financial independence. And financial independence is the pathway, almost like a, probably a necessary condition, necessary but not sufficient condition for people like yourselves, just the everyday, you know, the person in this world who's out there alone is the pathway for them to to basically like live a better life and by living a better life help the people around them and by helping the people around them make the world a better place. So I do believe that doing this and selling on Amazon and making these positive changes for yourself, it, it, it literally is making the world a better place. So that's what I believe and I am passionate about that. So I don't know, I'm not saying, you know, this is forever, um, but I just understand that it's not a hell yes for me right now. So this is from Derek Sivers, by the way, to quote, he's like, if it's not a hell yes, it's a no. Um, and when I first heard that, I didn't, I didn't really get it, but when I had this, this waking moment in the hotel in quarantine, I was like, oh yeah, this is, that's what it means. It's not a hell yes, it's a no. So that's it. I guess I just wanted to leave you as well with, uh, with a quote, which I found very helpful when I was going through this process of after I had this waking moment, trying to come to terms with the fact that I needed to make a change and like it was just catching my whole brain up to my brain and my body and like that, that feeling to be actually ready to take the change that you already know you need to make. Uh, and so this is from Naval Ravikant. So this is probably not for you if you're not thinking about stopping a YouTube channel or stopping a, a you know, training business or whatever, but if you need to make a change, try this on for size. He goes, the hard part is not the learning it's the unlearning, it's not the climbing of the mountain, it's the going back down and starting over again. It's the beginner's mind. In order to be successful, you must be willing to start from scratch, to hit reset and start from zero. What you already know and what you're already doing is an impediment to your full potential. Okay, so that's it everyone. Um, yeah, it's, it's really sad to go, um, but it's the right thing. So I'll be focusing on personal stuff for a while I'm, I will still probably release some content, but only when I feel like it, when I can genuinely say this is a hell yes. Um, and again, like I'd like to come back to this in the future, whatever form it may take. And so yeah, I hope it becomes a hell yes again. Anyway guys, bye for now.